In today's video, we are going to be breaking Night Errant of Eos and five color humans. When looking at our list, it looks fairly stock, except for three new additions. The first is Night Errant of Eos, which is a five mana creature that we can cast for zero or one mana, and when it enters the battlefield, we draw two cards revealing them. This allows our humans deck to be even more grindy in long matchups where removal is heavy, while also being a large creature as a 4 4. And the other two new additions that I added to this list are Coppercoat Vanguard and Jarena Dotless Gen. Vanguard gives all humans plus one plus O and ward, meaning that it is protection against fury and other problematic removal spells. And Jarena is graveyard hate that also can be sacrificed to give all of your humans hexproof and indestructible. So with the addition of these three cards, removal spells are an all time low against this deck, meaning that we've eliminated the biggest weakness for humans. So with all this being said, I'm going to be showing you why this deck is absolutely broken in the modern metagame. Match when we're on the play and we keep our seven. We go turn one island into an aether vial. In response, opponent cycles a Street Wraith and Force Negations our Aether Vile. Opponent evokes out of Grief, taking our Noble Hierarch, then plays out a Spire Bluff Canal. We draw land for turn, play out Unclaimed Territory into a Thalios Lieutenant. Opponent plays a Sunken Rune into a Cycled Stripe River Winder. We untap, drawing in a Hierarch. We play it out for turn, play our Cavern, and attack in for three. Opponent untaps and cycles a Curator, then plays out a Misty for turn. We top deck a Champion. Play out our Champion, pumping out our Thalios Lieutenant, and then cast out our Knight Eren of Eos, tapping our Hierarch and Champion. It pumps our Creatures, and then we get to pick up a Sentinel and a Cop. Upper code Vanguard. That's pretty sweet. Then we attack opponent for five and they're down 10. And on our instep, they cycle a Striper Grinder and a Street Wraith. Opponent untaps and then cycles another creature, then cycles again and cycles a third time. Then they scoop it up. Let's get on to sideboarding. We'll take out four Reflector Mage for two Sanctum Prelate and two Dranth Magistrate. Game two, our starter looks amazing. Opponent cycles a Street Wraith, then plays an island into another cycle. We draw champion. We go turn one unclaimed territory into a higher. Opponent leads on cycling architects, plays a Misty passing. We draw a Bile. We play at our Seacrum Coast, then play our Thalia out. And in response, they cycle. Then we play out our champion. Opponent plays a turn. We untap, drawing a vial. We play another champion out. Then cast out our Janeth Magistrate. And opponent scoops him up there. Let's get into match number two. Match two, we're on the play, and our seven's too weak. Gonna mole. Our six is also too weak, so we're going down to five. And our five is perfectly fine. We put back Alia and Reflector Mage. We go turn one Cavern into an Esper Sentinel. Opponent goes turn one Foothills. We draw another Sentinel for turn. We play our Courtyard into a Coppercoat Vanguard. And we go to combat, and opponent casts a dead on our Coppercoat Vanguard. We draw a land off of the Sentinel, and then attack the opponent down to six. 16. Opponent plays out of Gemstone Caverns. We top deck a Knight Ear and a Bios. Play out our Cavern into an Esper Sentinel. Then cast out our Jarena. And in response to Jarena, they fire, killing both of our Sentinels, but we get to draw two. Draw in Thalia and a Hierarch. Then Jarena exiles their yard. Opponent plays out of Misty. We draw a Reflector Mage. We play out our Thalia. And in response, they cast a Violent Outburst, which cascades into a Crashing Footballs, giving them two 4-4s. Four then we cast out our Hierarch. Opponent plays a Tap Stomping Ground and attacks us for four. We draw a Land for turn. We play out our Reflector Mage. They cast a Missile Dispute, but it can't be countered. Then we bounce a Rhino, play out our Cavern, and cast a 1-mana 4-4. Four, four. And our 4-4 four, four finds two Coppercoat Vanguards. This card's insane! Opponent misses their land drop, passing. And they just scoop it up in their instep. Let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out four Hierarchs for two Dranth Magistrate and two Sanctum Prelate. Game two, our starter's great. Opponent goes turn one Tarn. We draw a Cavern, we play out Courtyard, and two an Aether Vial. Opponent plays out of Foothills. We tick up Vial and draw a Thalia's Lieutenant. Play our Cavern on Human, then cast out our Thalia. And our instep opponent fetches, and we will Vial in our Esper Sentinel in response. And still in our instep, they dead gone our Thalia, and we draw a card off a Sentinel, finding another Sentinel. Opponent plays an Island into a Shardless Agent, finding a Crashing Footballs, and we get to draw another card off Sentinel. We draw into another Sentinel. We took up our Vile and find a General Kudro. We play our Planes into an Esper Sentinel, then cast our Thalia's Lieutenant, and with the trigger on the stack, we're going to Vile in our Jarena, which allows our Thalia's Lieutenant to get a plus one plus one counter, and the Jarena to get a plus one plus one counter. Opponent goes to combat and attacks us for eight. We'll take the damage going down to 12, and then they cast another Shardless Agent, which finds a Footballs, and Esper Sentinel draws us two cards. Getting Mantis Rider and a Reflector Mage. Vial goes to three and we draw a Horizon Canopy. Play out our Sentinel, pumping our Thalia's Lieutenant. Then play our Canopy and cast out General Kudro. Opponent plays an Island for turn. And on their end step, we Vial in our Mantis Rider. We leave Vial on three and draw up Champion for turn. We crack our Canopy, finding the Copper Coat Vanguard. We play out our Vanguard, pumping the team. Then go to combat and attack the opponent for five in the air. On our end step, they cast a Violent Outburst, cascading into a Footfalls, and we get to draw three cards. So on a Magistrate, a Cavern, and an Aether Vial. Opponent plays a Foothills and an Elf Strike. We activate Vile, putting in our Reflector Mage, bouncing a Rhino, killing it. Then we make our blocks. Opponent cast a Gone on our General. Our Sentinels draw us three more cards. They pay for the one ward, and in response to that, we will sack our Jarena, which gives all of our humans indestructible and hexproof. And before damage happens, opponent scoops him up. What a powerful showing. Let's get into match number three. Match three, we're on the draw, and we got a Molar 7. Our 6 is perfectly fine. We'll put back a higher. Opponent goes turn one Ink Moth. We find a champion. We'll play out our unclaimed territory into a higher. Opponent plays the green pathway into a hangar back. We draw a cavern. We play 
play that out on human, cast our champion into Athalia. Opponent plays out a patchwork, passing. We play island, draw a hierarch, add our champion, play a hierarch and attack the opponent for six, and they take it down to 14. Opponent plays out an arc pound ravenger, pumping up the patchwork. We draw Athalia for turn, play out a reflector mage, pumping up our champions, and trying to bounce the arc bound ravenger. And in response, they sacrifice it, putting a plus one plus one on hanger back. Then we cast out our other Thalia, even though we have one on the battlefield, just to pump up our champions, and we attack in for 12. Opponent blocks with the hanger back, they go to eight, making two one ones. Opponent plays a forest into a ravenger. We draw a canopy, we'll play it and crack it, on into a copper coat vanguard. We cast it out, and math is for blockers. This is how they end up blocking. They sacrifice all of their creatures to make Archmount Ravager a 4 4, which will kill our Thalia, and they're down to six. Opponent cast out a hardened scales into an ancient stirrings, and they play out a saga and they scoop it up. Let's get on to sideboarding. We're gonna be taking out three Thalias and two Esper Sentinel for two Realm Walker and three Collector Oof. Game two, our starting hand looks great. Ooh, and our opponent has to mull down to four. We draw another Oof for turn. We play out our unclaimed territory into a higher. Opponent goes green pathway into a hardened scales. We draw another territory for turn. We play that out. Cast our Collector Oof and might as well as run out Vile. Opponent deploys a hanger back for two. We draw another Vial for turn. Play out our territory, attack in for three. Then we cast a Oof post combat and a Jarena. Opponent untaps and casts an Uzalith. We draw a Mantis Rider for turn. We cast it out. Go to combat, attacking the opponent for four. And then post combat, we get to cast a free Knight Errant of Eos. Oh my god, finding so many cards. We ended up taking the Copper Coat Vanguard and the Reflector Mage. The opponent plays the Red Pathway into an Arcbound Ravager. We draw another Jarena for turn. Then we cast out our Reflector Mage, and before it resolves, opponent scoops him up. Let's get into match number four. Match four, we're on the play, and starting hand's a little slow, but fine. We play turn one Canopy. The opponent plays a Cavern on Human into a Champion. Looks like we're on the Mirror. We draw a Hierarch return, play out our territory into a Vanguard. The opponent plays another Cavern on Human into a Thalia's Lieutenant, getting a 3 3 Champion and attacking in for three. We draw a Jarena for turn, cast out our Hierarch into a Thalia, then attack in for three. The opponent goes Plains into an Adeline, which pumps up both of their humans and then they attack in with a Champion, getting a human on the attack and making this a 5 5. We take five and kill the 1 1. We cast out our Reflector Mage, bouncing the Adeline, and then we attack in for four. The opponent plays a Seacrum Coast into a Copper Coat Vanguard, and we're just too far behind at this point. We're just going to scoop them up and get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out two Thalia for two Realm Walker. Game two, we keep our seven. We go turn one Cavern into a Hierarch. Opponent goes planes into a Vial. We draw a Knight Errant of Eos. We play out our Courtyard and then cast our Lieutenant, pumping up the team and attacking in for two. Opponent takes up Vial and cast a Thalia. We draw a Cavern. We play it out on Human and then cast a Reflector Mage. We grow our Lieutenant and bounce their Thalia. Then attack in for three. Opponent takes up a Vial, plays a Land, and cast a Copper Coat Vanguard. Then Vials in their Thalia. We draw a Canopy for turn. We cast out our Reflector Mage, bouncing their Vanguard, growing our Lieutenant. Then play our Canopy and cast a one mana 4-4. Four, four. This pumps Lieutenant. Oh man, we get so many good cards. We'll pick up a Reflector Mage and a Copper Coat Vanguard. I'm gonna cast out their own Reflector Mage, bouncing their Lieutenant, then Vials in their Copper Coat Vanguard. We draw a Territory for turn. We play it on Human. Cast our Reflector Mage, bouncing their Vanguard. Then we play our own Vanguard. Then cast a zero mana Knight Errant of Eos, which is a 4-4 four, four, and draws us two cards. This card's busted. Getting Nathalia's Lieutenant and a Jarena. And then we attack in for six. When it plays out a Mariner, activates Vile, puts in a Copper Coat Vanguard. We draw a Land for turn, and then we're just gonna cast Jarena. And before we can cast out our Lieutenant's opponent, scoops him up. Let's get into game three. Game three, our hand looks fine, but Esper Sentinels are so bad this matchup, so we're gonna mull. And our six is not good enough. We're going down to five. And our five looks perfect. We put back Sentinel and an Aether Vial. Opponent goes turn one tap land. We go turn one claim into an Aether Vial, drawing a Sentinel. Opponent goes coast into a Thalia. We draw Thalia's Lieutenant for turn. We play out our land into the Lieutenant. And in response to the trigger, we put in our Esper Sentinel, getting two two twos. Opponent goes cavern into an Adeline. They attack in with Thalia. We'll block the one one, going down to 18. Oof, we draw a Realm Walker for turn and take up our Vial, and we just gotta pass. I'm gonna cast out a Mariner into a Copper Coat Vanguard, and they attack in for eight. We take up our Vial and find a Cavern. We pass back, then opponent casts out a Reflector Mage, bouncing our Lieutenant. Before combat, we'll Vile in our Reflector Mage and bounce their Adeline. And we have to pay for the Ward and the Unsettled Mariner. Then they attack in with Thalia, and we will double block. We draw a Champion for turn. We cast it out, and then we'll Vile in our Realm Walker, seeing a Champion on top. We will cast that, and seeing a Knight Errant on top, which we could cast, but I think we're gonna die if we do, so we'll pass. I'm gonna cast out a Reflector Mage, bouncing our Champion. Then they attack in with most of the team. We'll trade off our Sentinel for this Mariner, and we draw our Knight Errant of Eos, and we see a Vanguard on top. We'll play the Vanguard off the top, seeing a Noble Hierarch. We'll play that as well, and Thalia's on top as well now. I'm gonna go straight to combat, attacking with two Reflector Mages. We'll Vile in our General Kudro. We'll block both the Reflector Mages, trying to kill them both. An opponent has an Aganjo dealing four to our Champion, which means that they trade off now. We draw our Thalia. Top card is a Courtyard. We'll cast out our Champion of the Parish. And I accidentally activate Vile. Oopsies. And opponent scoops him up. Let's get into match number five. Match five for on the play, and a hand looks amazing. We go turn one Courtyard into a Hierarch. Opponent goes turn one Stomping Ground into a Memnite. Then cast Gleeful Demolition, getting three 1 1s. We draw a Canopy for turn. We play Planes into a Champion. 
Champion, then cast out our Esper Sentinel. I'm gonna place a Carplusion Forest into a Nest Invader, then cast out a Memnite passing back. We draw Thalia's Lieutenant for turn, so we'll cast out our Copper Code Vanguard into a Thalia's Lieutenant. I'm gonna place a Mountain into a Memnite, then cast a Kodolta Rebirth, sacrificing a Memnite, allowing us to draw a High Arc and get three one ones. We draw a Cavern for turn, we play it, cast out our High Arc, then cast out our Knight Aaron of Eos, only using two creatures to convoke it, and it draws us into a Thalia's Lieutenant and an Esper Sentinel. I'm gonna place a Forest into another Nest Invader. We draw territory for turn, crack our canopy, fighting reflector mage, play our land into an Esper Sentinel, then cast out our Thalia's Lieutenant, pumping the squad, and we'll attack him with three big creatures. They chump block two and go down to ten. I'm gonna play as an Epicure for turn, and scoops him up, let's get into sideboarding. We're gonna take out three Thalia for a Realm Walker and two Prelates. Game two, we're gonna keep a risky hand. Opponent goes turn one stomping ground into an Epicure. We draw Thalia's Lieutenant, play our land into a High Arc. Opponent goes Kerplusion Forest into a Nest Invader, then sacrifice the pest to cast out the star. They attack in for one, and we'll go down to eighteen. We top deck a land, cast out our High Arc into our Jarena. Opponent shocks in the stomping ground into another Nest Invader. Sacrifice the pest to cycle star, making a red, then cast a Goblin Bushwhacker. They attack in with the team, and we will trade off a Jarena for a Nest Invader. We draw a Canopy, we play that into a Mantis Rider. Then we cast out a Thalia's Lieutenant, pumping the team, and attack in for six in the air. Opponent uses the blood to cycle away a Copper Line Gorge, plays out a star, then cast a Rebirth, getting three 1 1s and drawing a card. Plays land and passes. We draw another Knight, we cast out a Thalia's Lieutenant, pumping the team again, then we attack in for seven in the air. Opponent takes it, going down to two. We cast out an Epicure, and they're helping. I think we're going to win this one. And we do, we get the 5 0. Let's freaking go. This deck was absolutely insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this league and video. Please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.